Hey guys, I'm going to do a cold weather charging video and just cold weather EV video in general. This is my Tesla Model 3 long range all wheel drive. The only car I haven't had a problem with. Um, all these other ICE vehicles, this uh, F-150, it hasn't been able to start for a number of hours. I have a little battery charger on there. I tried lithium ion boosters. They all get it to crank, but let's see if we can get this started. Give it a try before we get into our supercharging video. Oh. Hey guys, so we're gonna do a quick supercharging in the cold. Right now in the garage, it's minus 21 degrees Celsius. And uh, we're gonna drive down to the Prince George supercharger. I plugged it in, so hopefully it'll start uh, warming up the battery. We are at 63% state of charge, and we'll see what kind of uh, charge rate we get at the supercharger in minus 30s. So just to show, minus 30 degrees Celsius, you can see right there heading towards Prince George Supercharger and you can see all the ICE vehicles so much exhaust that's what it looks like in minus 30 and colder quite a difference compared to minus 20s you guys want to see something that's funny I have it in full self-driving mode and uh, because it's minus 31 degrees Celsius all the exhaust from the ice vehicles as soon as you take off from uh, a red light all that exhaust blocks the cameras and literally just the last set of lights fsd just uh turned off it said front camera is blocked and it turned off fsd let's see what happens here so far it's working but see from all that exhaust could have issues but it it actually did I might have video footage of that at the last lights hey guys so I'm here at the uh, site of the superchargers in Prince George British Columbia it is minus 31 degrees Celsius I'm at 56 percent state of charge we're gonna do a test and we're gonna see what kind of charging rate we get from these bad boys under these conditions. All right, so let's confirm all the stats. We are at 56% state of charge. It's 31 degrees Celsius, and we are gonna supercharge. I did have it set to precondition on the way here for a good 15 minutes. And let's see. Wow, these cables are hard to bend. <clears throat> Especially when it's that cold. All right, so charging. Let's check it out. Wow. Only 44 kilowatt. That's not looking so great. 47 kilowatts. And these are V3 superchargers. Let's see if this ramps up. Not at all. I will check in on this later and we'll see if it changes, but 54 kilowatts. Not very good. Just some stats on the uh, cost for charging at Prince George. You can see here, charging fees anywhere from 33 cents to a buck 70 a minute. Depends on how fast it's charging. And still right now it's been 
couple minutes and we're only at 52 kilowatts. It's 1228 minus 30 degrees Celsius, 57% state of charge. So uh, there you have it. We are charging and it's not going that great. Very slow. This is like no faster than BC Hydro would be, which by the way, that's those generic ones over there. They are 50 kilowatt. So right now the Tesla supercharger is not doing much better. All right, so just to point out, we are charging at stall 2A. And uh, what I'll do is I'll maybe move closer to the transformers to try out uh, 2D maybe. And to see if that one does any better for us. Guys, we're on stall 2D, which is right beside the transformers. I don't know if distance make, makes a difference or not. We are going to see if we get a better charge rate or if we just get 50 kilowatt in minus 30 degrees Celsius temperatures. All right, so far we're only getting. 45 kilowatt. Does not seem to be doing much better. We will check on this in about five minutes it's 1232 five or ten minutes we'll give it a try well, it's up to 54 kilowatt still only in the 50s should be 250 or at least close to up there All right, guys you can see i've got the model 3 long range uh, dual motor uh, 2020 and i've waited a good five minutes still minus 30 degrees celsius we're still only getting 49 kilowatts, so really, is this supercharging? No, it's nothing. How different is this? Now, I'm going to compare this to those generic flow chargers over there, made by Ad Energy, I think, uh, and we're going to check that out here in a sec. All right, guys, we are using the uh, Tesla Chatamo adapter. It's still communicating. Wait for that green. Man, my fingers are freezing. There we go. And uh, Chatamo flow charger. This is a 50 kilowatt. And it says it's delivering 39. 44. Let's go look inside and see what we're getting. Look at that fellas ladies and gentlemen 47 kilowatts we are getting the same speed as the Tesla supercharger when it's basically minus 30 degrees Celsius so that's very interesting and I will say I did precondition the battery on the way here it was a 15 minute drive 1 5 15 and uh, I don't know if it would have been even slower but basically even at a V3 supercharger, it doesn't seem to do much more under these conditions. Good to know. All right, guys, so that's a good five minutes of charging, 1245, minus 29 degrees Celsius, and we're getting 47 kilowatts, same as the superchargers over there, and uh, seems to be no advantage in this cold weather. <laughs> 